Hi, this is Windows 7 user, and this is a quick video on how to jailbreak your iPhone, the uh, 2G, 3G, iPod Touch, first and second generation. Um, this does not work for the iPhone 3GS at this point. Um, I want to refer to this link. This is where you're going to be getting all the software to jailbreak or unlock the iPhone or iPod Touch. Um, the program I'm going to use is Red Snow. I'm unlocking an iPhone 2G for a friend. Um, please read over everything carefully before you uh, start to use anything. Um, if you're relying on the service, so say you're using an iPhone 3G with T-Mobile, um, then you need to use Ultra Snow, which is right here. I'm going to post this link. Um, so just make sure you use Ultra Snow if you're relying. This is, that's only for the iPhone 3G. If you're using a 2G and you're using like T-Mobile service or another GSM carrier, then you'll be fine with the 2G to use Red Snow. Um, all right, so let's get started. Um, I uh, typed up some instructions just in case you ever need to refer back to them. You can just go full screen, pause the video, and it'll be perfect quality. Um, the first thing before you do anything is uh, you should restore your iPhone to its original settings. Um, the way you do this is you just go into iTunes and you click on your iPod and you click restore. Um, it'll take some time. Okay, so now that Red Snow has uh, unzipped and has its own folder right here, um, what we need to get is the 3.0 firmware. Um, so where we're going to get that is off the website, post in the description. There's one for 2G, one for 3G. So I'm going to get this one for 2G. Takes a while to um, download. Um, what you're going to want to do is save the file. Make sure. Uh, to save the file, save it to your desktop or or the folder that you had it in. It's very important that you do this because this is the file we're going to be modifying. So click OK and be right back. Okay, now that we have the firmware downloaded, um, you're going to go to the Red Snow folder or Ultra Snow if you're doing um, an iPhone 3G that you need to be running on a separate network besides AT&T. So you'll double click on Red Snow it'll open up, you'll hit browse and then um, go to wherever the file is so mine is on the desktop click open takes a second to process the firmware okay then it'll um, confirm it just click next it starts to prepare the data okay um, what you're going to want to do is install Sedia right here. Not IC, it's not as good. And um, this you need for anything that you want to jailbreak. And the unlock is just for the iPhone 2G. This is just going to be for if you want a different network, like um, my friend has T Mobile. So I'm going to click unlock and there we go. Um, okay, here's the bootloaders. I'll post links in the description for them. Um, so the bootloaders are right here. Um, I'm going to post this link in the description. I'm um, just click download here. Um, I already downloaded them, so um, I just have to unzip them now. So start files. Just put them right on the uh, wherever the f you want it, and you're there. So browse my nine. Open, browse, six, next. Okay, now after that, um, make sure that you plug in your iPhone or iPod Touch. Make sure it's completely off, and then uh, click next. Once you hold down the power corner for two seconds without releasing the power button, hold on the home button for seven seconds, and without releasing the home button, release the power button after time runs out. Don't be afraid if you get this wrong. Um, there's plenty of time to catch back up, and it resets if you do it wrong, so there's nothing to worry about. And then uh, you can release it when it gets to this state. When it's done, 
you can just click finish. After everything is done loading, the firmware will still be loading on your iPod. Just wait till it's done, and then you'll be able to turn it on and use it, and uh, it'll be jailbroken and unlocked. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, if this video helped you, you can help me by subscribing and rating um, this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thank you.